My favourite campaign in the last 10 years was the Usain Bolt dance, which was run at Crystal Palace. There was an open competition and two young girls came along and got to do sort of the famous Usain Bolt pose with him. And I think it was, it was fun, it was cheap, it was cheerful, and it just engaged loads of people in something that was really of the moment. My favourite sport industry moment would be being in Singapore, sitting next to Sebco for the announcement uh, for the Olympics and Paralympics. And it was just, I remember my hands shaking and having this really false Oscar smile on my face, thinking if we don't win it doesn't matter. But for me it was winning the Paralympics that was really important because it will put the Paralympic Games on a whole new level. And the fact that the, the big committee and now the organising committee uh, have this absolute fundamental principle of organising the two games to the same quality and standard means that the Paralympic Games will, will never ever be the same again. My favourite sporting moment would be Matt Pinson winning in 2004 at the Olympics with his team of course but it was one of those races it was even more dramatic than uh, the 2000 um, Olympic event and just touch and go and just that moment where it was right on the line and to me it felt like I actually rode every single step of the way with him by the end of it I was completely and utterly exhausted. My favourite sporting hero, and I'm going to get absolutely done over for this, uh, that one moment would be Johnny Wilkinson uh, at the World Cup. And it's the only time I have ever, ever, ever supported English rugby in my entire life. And probably the only time I ever will again. But um, I was driving in my car, I was on the M42, I was just driving past the service station, and I just remember that moment. Um, and I had tears in my eyes, and I will never admit that ever, ever again about England winning the rugby match.